a good stocking day here. And so, probably wondering where our faces are. Uh, we have this new Kodak sports cam. It's waterproof up to three meters. Yeah, I, I just want to check out the new thing. Uh, we're currently shooting in 60 frames per second. Uh, no, I've I recorded in both. Hey, I got a text from Drew. So, I think this will help our slow motion things. Because it's 60 frames compared to 30 frames. Yeah. So, uh, shout out to Bryn Mastin for giving us this Kodak uh, sports cam. Uh, it's a little old, but hey, it's... Uh, better than the cam we don't own <laughs> so uh if you guys want to make donations on older cameras or anything like that that you don't want anymore we'll be glad to take them off your hands the more cameras we have the more angles we can shoot we wind up with like 80 cameras <laughs> just set up <laughs> just all over the like a, looking like a hedgehog because there's freaking cameras everywhere so we'll, we'll figure it out so drew on our new camera, why don't you tell them where we're heading? We are heading out to the state game lands near um, Letterkenny and Army Depot. We're not going on the buffer zone where a lot of people can hunt. We're going to the game lands next to it. Um, I've been there a couple times. Actually, two years ago, I got a Redneck 11 point out of there. It was a dog. It was not a dog. I'm pretty sure it was, it was pretty small. But, um, wound up with getting about 70 pound of meat off of it, so it wasn't too terrible. So we're gonna wind up going out there, sitting for a while, seeing what we can see. It's a rainy day, so they should be. It's kind of warm, but we'll do with what we can. Uh, so we got a pretty good reaction from you guys out of our skunked pheasant hunting video. Even though we didn't get anything, you guys seem to enjoy the episode, just enjoying to see what it's like, real deal hunting. So we're just gonna upload any and all footage that we take. Uh, if you guys get sick of it, just you know, just let us know in the comments. We're a very adaptable program, you know. We even what we could do is if we don't wind up getting anything, we could just take video clips of what we see and just put it all in one episode. Yeah, so kind that, of like a season review. Yeah, that's we're definitely gonna do an end of season review. Uh, it's gonna be a little compilation video, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, we're trying to get at least I want to say 10 episodes in season one before um, before the end of school we already have six plus we have two tips and tricks we have one more to come out I still got to edit the uh, how to take a fish off the line All right. and then uh, we also have there was something else we recorded I'll figure it out but uh the funny story the funny story I, I didn't like it how it was told it kept getting interrupted Maybe I'll tell it now. I think it'll be funnier when I'm whispering. But, um, <laughs> so, so we'll, we're just going to keep uploading as long as you guys like it and we'll keep providing. So, we'll wish us luck. Here we go. Okay. Drew, why don't you tell everybody where we're at? We are in the game lands past letter uh, from Shippensburg. You have a number on that? I'm working on it. Yeah. Once we get to the sign, we'll look for it. We'll look at it. At the so, sign. Uh, been hunting here for the last three years. I got my redneck 11 point off here, and hopefully today I've always seen massive buck rubs, piles of deer crap. So uh, we're heading down to the bottom of this little ravine here today, and see if we can catch anything running. Pretty foggy out today with the crappy weather, but. We'll see what we can do. Alrighty, Drew, so what state game lands are we at? We're on game land 76, now, which was my football number. There we go. So for those of you who don't know Drew personally, like I do, this guy hasn't <laughs> played football in four years, but he talks about it like he was doing it yesterday. <laughs> I miss yeah. it. What was your position? I was defensive guard. And what was your number? 76, man. All right. So, Drew's excited. Oh, he. It makes sense that this is where I got the deer. Makes sense. So, hopefully, 76 will be our good luck number once again and get us a nice buck. Alrighty, Drew. So, what are we looking at right now? Alright, here we're looking at a buck rub. 
There's all kind of them in here. There's one, that tree right there. This one here. There's one straight out from me. One right there, one right there. Um, and what that is, is, is the box antlers are growing. They get like a velvet towards the end of the season. And that just basically nurtures the bone, makes sure it's gonna be nice and strong. And that velvet has to come off. And it gets really itchy. So they just start scratching their head on uh, trees to rub that velvet off. And then that's where you get these buck rubs from. So, so judging by how many there are. We're in buck territory. There's a couple nice deer running around. And generally the bigger the tree that's rubbed on, the bigger the buck. So we got a couple of decent sized deer. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna keep walking. Try to find ourselves uh, in this area, a place with a nice shooting lane for us. All right, so we're in our spot. Yeah, I'm coming down with my coach. I'll tell him to bring the two man blind. All right, so we're about 50 yards away from those rubs that we saw, and then we're seeing some more, and they're real fresh. They gotta be within the last two or three days. So we're gonna set up here, and then uh, Drew. Dad accidentally grabbed the one-man blind, so he's gonna work on having him bring down the two-man blind, uh, just because it'll make it easier for us to move around and talk and have an episode compared to what we're gonna have to do, which is sit out in the open. But I mean, if you've never hunted, that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing the first time, just sitting out. You maybe want to find yourself a nice little two tree. Find where two trees cross together and just put your back in that cross and watch. Yeah. I know what I would do is I'd find a tree like this with a nice arc to it. Then what you want to do is take your area, just clean it all out until you're down to the dirt. And what that does is it allows you to move around silently without spooking any deer. And uh, maybe if we don't see anything or maybe on a day where we can't hunt, we'll do an example video of that. So we're going to set up and then we'll continue filming. Uh, we're set up in our spot. Got Drew off to my right. Uh, Drew, what kind of gun you hunting with? I got the uh, Browning A Bolt 25 out six. I have custom loaded 114 grain Burger. Uh, their version of the ballistic tip by Hornady. Basically, it's just a big energy dump. It causes as much damage as humanly possible. So. Stops the deer in their tracks. I have not had to track a deer yet. <laughs> so, so uh, what are those? Job done. What are those little chopsticks you got hanging off your gun? This is a bipod, and it helps stabilization. If you tighten it up, that's loosening. <laughs> the screw's backwards on it. Turn it left to tighten. Right to loosen. Just kidding. I was right. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me go ahead and fix up my pod. Edit this part. Yeah, right, tighten it left to this. Alright. Okay, so now that that's tightened up. And typically, it's a little lower. If you're shooting downhill, that works out really nice to stabilize your shot. But since I'm a little higher up, I'm just going to have to get a free hand. And I'm working with a 30-30. Dad's gun. Let me use it for the show. So, uh, I think there's a way that we can set up that we're just gonna be recording. We need a tripod. We do need a tripod. All right. Mm -hmm. in the area, I'm coming to fight you, kind of deal. And if there is a dominant buck set up in the area, he does what's called a roar, which is... That was terrible. And that's 
just like, that's a challenge. He's gonna throw down and come fight you. So, they also do a snort wheeze, which is kind of like a huff. I don't, some grunt calls will have a little attachment on the top that you can puff through. It makes it sound good. But, uh, I don't have that. So. And, uh, what else you got? Taps of that. Huh? What's the other thing you got? The bag oh, of sticks. Yeah. This is a rattle bag. There's a bunch of different versions of it. But it's meant to imitate. The sound of fighting box. And that draws in any deer in the area. Any bucks that are coming to kind of throw their hat in the ring and fight for an area of land or females. I don't know. That's hope. That kicks something up. So it's starting to rain. Just pretty gay. Drew decided to pop up his blind. So he's nice and dry, but uh, as you can see, this little crappy pine tree is my only blind. And uh, needless to say, I'm getting pretty wet. <laughs> So, uh, we're gonna keep looking around, see if we see anything besides that chipmunk that just ran by. Chippies There's a ton of chipmunks, which is pretty good if we were squirrel hunting, <laughs> but we are not. <laughs> we're pretty good if chipmunks weren't protected. Yeah. So. She's fast. Uh, just wanted to show you that chipmunk that's been hanging out with us. We think he's, uh, we think he's telling all the deer on us because we haven't seen anything. As you can see that the fog is, uh, starting to roll in, so... This sucks, but it's whatever. It's part of deer hunting. Part of real deer hunting, right, Drew? What? It's a part of real deer hunting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes the conditions don't always line up the way you want it to. But we're going to stick it out till dark. So anyway, so we're just going to stick it out, and that's, that's what deer hunting is. It's not like pheasant hunting. It's you sit there, you stay as quiet as possible, try to make as little movement, little noise. And uh, if you're lucky, God will bless you and put a nice monster buck right in front of you and bag yourself a deer. So hopefully God will shine his mercy down on me and Drew and provide us with a nice beautiful buck that we can harvest. Alrighty guys, it's uh, starting to get a little darker, but it's also starting to get a lot colder. The temperature dropped quite a bit in the last little while. And, uh, so what happens is deer like to stay put pretty much until nighttime, but they also stay put if it's warm out. So we have about an hour, 45 minutes left of sunlight, and, uh, we're hoping with this temperature drop, we can get, uh, maybe a younger buck with a nice rack to come out, and, uh, a little early. Maybe we'll see one and uh, get one. So we'll, we'll keep you updated. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, it's dark. It's uh, legally we're not allowed to hunt anymore. So we're gonna get heading out. It's still raining pretty good. So we're gonna pack up, head out, and then uh, we'll do an outro from the car. All right, guys, as you can tell, it is dark out. Uh, we did not see anything. Uh, saw some squirrels, saw some chipmunks. Nothing shootable. Nothing shootable. Uh, we did hear some noises off in the distance when we were doing our calls and rattle bag, but we think it was just probably a squirrel or whatnot. But, uh, you know, like we said in our last episode, sometimes you get skunked, it happens. Sometimes you go in five minutes, get yourself a deer. 
sometimes you'll be out there all day every day for the whole season not see a tail so uh it happens we're gonna upload this you guys seem to like our last episode where we got skunk so we're just uploading everything uh make sure you guys like share and subscribe to us uh share this with your friends uh we're a growing community we got a fan down in georgia who gave us a shout out yesterday it was like what i'm seeing like you guys keep it up and you know it's cool to see that you know yeah. someone we do not know liking our videos it was really cool so we want to those guys yeah thanks uh, i think wild mike as well yeah but yeah. uh two likes on our facebook page so it's pretty shout out to those guys thank you very much yeah pretty cool seeing you guys <laughs> not being our friends just liking what yeah. we're doing <laughs> but uh so just make sure you guys share this with all your friends. We're a growing community. We want to grow it even bigger. So we need your help for that. Uh, once again, this has been another episode of Real Deal PA Outdoors. I'm Pat. I'm Drew. And uh, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.